Hey there, it's JP1970, and I'm coming to you with another video. In this video, I just wanted to talk to you about some uh, ways to work around this latest update to iMovie for MacBook users. So if you're using iMovie, uh, maybe you've noticed this. So what happens is you take your footage, like here, here's a little short video I was working on. So we move it over here, and you'll notice that it no longer tells you how long the clip is. That's the first thing I noticed, that something might not be right. So now I have this footage. Let me just show you. Uh, let's say I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to upload it to YouTube. So when I, when I select that, now the, what I notice is my resolution numbers. See that? So it'll give you two options, basically. You can upload it in large, 540, or you can upload it in 480. Now, that's not high resolution. That is not very good. So I figured out a way to work around this. And maybe if you're having troubles with this, maybe this will help you. So we don't want to do that. We don't want to upload in 540, so I'm going to cancel this. And what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to export the file. So now notice my resolution choices, 1080p. That's what I want. It also gives you the option of 720 and then that last option of 540. But if you're like me and you're uploading your videos to YouTube, you really want to do it in 1080. So we're going to export this file to QuickTime Player. And it's going to ask you the same thing. So uh, I'm just going to call this ride footage. Okay, and it's going to put it in downloads is where it's going to save it. So let's go ahead and do that. And you'll notice that the timer starts, takes a couple of seconds here. Now, depending on your uh, connection and I don't know depending on several variables I suppose with regard to uh, how fast this will happen uh, you know you, you have to let it do its thing so so here we go you'll notice that it is exporting the file and we will let it do its thing and what's going to happen is once this exports into QuickTime player you're going to still be able to upload the file to YouTube, but you're going to notice that you get more choices. Okay, the file is almost done here, exporting to QuickTime Player. And when it's done, you get a little notification. When the, when the file has uploaded, or exported rather, is you get a little notice here saying the share was successful and we're going to take a look at it now so ride footage it's in an mp4 file so let's go ahead and take a look at that so now here is that clip that i was unable to upload to youtube in 1080p but by exporting it into quicktime player i was able to do that so now look down here we have our options and one of them is going to be now what do we want to do with it well we want to put it on YouTube so we go down here to YouTube and then we get our same options where YouTube is going to ask us obviously it shows us our account it shows us the category the titles already done and we're going to say next we're going to accept the copyright terms and now it's publishing to YouTube and this uh, takes a little while with my connection so I'll be right back okay so now that the file has uploaded take a look go to our videos refresh this And there's our ride footage video right there. And if we go in 
and we go to edit video the first thing I want you to notice is that the video quality is rendered in high definition so that's it that's the workaround so if you're using iMovie and you've been a victim of this most recent update that is how you get around it and then the video will be rendered in HD and you can check your settings there it is 1080 so there you go folks I hope that was helpful uh, let me know in the comments if you've been having a problem with this or if you have another way to fix this thanks very much for checking out this video take care everybody see ya